Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Roof channel where Hobby Beekeeping is a way of life. Headed down to look at what is supposed to be honeybees in a birdhouse. I'm betting it's yellow jackets or something because unless it's a really big birdhouse, honeybees are not probably going to be in it. Right now they think it's honeybees and they want to move them. They want to keep them, but they just want to move them out away from the house. They're hanging under a back porch or something. So I'm passing right by there on my way home. I told him I'd swing through and move them for him if I could and tell him how to make them stay moved and then advise him on what kind of equipment he needs to to uh, keep them. Are they the carpenter ones that bore in the wood? No. Oh. These are bumblebees and they will eat your lunch. That one's trying to sting me right there. Hello, honey. No I thought honey. they were going there making honey, man. No. Oh, they got one on your back. You got one right here. Sorry, that's the same one. She stung me. <laughs> she stung me in the back of the neck. You all right? Yeah, they don't lose their stinger like a honeybee, but they sure do pack a punch. I guess you ain't allergic to them. No, I ain't allergic. Like my mom is. That's why I was worried about it sitting out here. We've been sitting out front. Yeah, we're standing here looking at a super cool bumblebee nest in a birdhouse. And they're already giving me kisses on the back of my neck and the middle of my back. I'm about to probably sack this thing up and take it with me. We'll relocate them to a safer place. Me and Jeff are about to tackle the impossible. We got <laughs> some pet screen. We're gonna sack up uh, a birdhouse with some bumblebees in it. So they're probably going to my house to hang under the eave of my shed somewhere. And I got stung in the back of the neck and in the center of my back just looking at them. So, needless to say, we're going to suit up for this. And I'll have some bumblebees. So, uh, D Fish Man, if you want some more bumblebees, you come on down to my house. I'll let you have these things. My girls are real big into science. Okay, go ahead. Science. <laughs> Tell Dad we had some toxic waste removed. I like that. Alright y'all. Okay, Are you ready for the biggest mistake today? <laughs> I can't call it the biggest mistake of my life because y'all have all seen me make some pretty big blunders. But I'm going to try to sack these bumblebees up in some pet screen. And they'll be my, they'll be my pets. Alright, stop the video. Let me pause for just a second to say that this video is for your viewing pleasure and your entertainment only. It probably has little to no educational value, aside from the fact that you'll learn that bumblebees sting and they are aggressive, more so than a honeybee, and their sting is worse than a honeybee. However, I'm willing to pay the price. I can take the stings, and this is what I came home with. So I'm, kind, I'm just standing here watching them right now. They're, Looks like they're carrying eggs or egg hulls out and dropping them. I don't know what they're actually carrying out, but it looks like bumblebee eggs. So <laughs> that's probably the most education you'll get out of this video is that I guess when a bumblebee hatches, they carry the egg out and just drop it under the hive. But uh, these girls took me for a ride when I picked them up. Before I took them for a ride, they took me for a ride. You'll be able to see that uh, my method for closing up around them didn't work quite right. And I'm going to show you at the end of the video a little bit of the price I paid for it. Resume. You can just unhook that up from up there. You see it? Yeah. Well, the whole thing. And, I, and the uh, big, when I say the biggest mistake, you see I don't have any gloves on, so. Oh man, um, <laughs> this might be. Log without a net. If at any point I see you might want to back up. I don't mean just a little bit. Go inside. Ooh, there's a bunch of them in there. I can hear them. Oh, you got one behind you on your leg. That's all right. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Come on, go open that gate for them. Oh, man, look at them all swarming. Holy moly. Jeez. Uh, this pet screen ain't holding them, so y'all might want to back up. Okay. Where are you going? I going out there with them? Oh, 
Oh man. Ah! Ah, dog! What? <laughs> what? Sheesh! What? Shut the. Stop it, Jay! God dang it! Come on, stun me. Get, get inside, Mom. Go inside. Keep, keep, keep. You better go inside. Go inside. He doesn't have them all covered? No, they, they started on. <laughs> Go inside. I want to get a picture. You're going to get stung. Ugh. I had to carry him back here and set him down. I didn't do so fine a job closing my screen up. And, um, you know, <laughs> what happened was, <laughs> I do have to say the Guardian B suit, shout out to Guardian once again, I haven't had any stings through it. So I'm thinking about going hanging this back right where it was so that all these that are searching around will come to it. And I'm using my everything BVAC to pick them up. It's doing a pretty nice job of picking them up. Well, now they've located me and they're starting to attack me again. So I'm going to move on away for a minute. Okay, I didn't want to suffocate them. So was hence the reason for the trying to sack them up with screen, which didn't go so well. Uh, Sacking them up with garbage bag was a much better deal. It worked out. I didn't get but one sting putting them in a garbage bag. <laughs> but I did use the everything BVAC to pull them in. That's not the hose that comes with that vac. That's a hose that my dad thought would be a good idea to use and it's not because it slips out easy. The original hose was already connected to another everything BVAC because I have both mine and my dad's with me. And, uh, yeah, I used the everything BVAC to pull in uh, all those honey, all those bumblebees. Now, they didn't go easily because they're big and strong, and they were able to grab the edge of the nozzle on the hose, and I had to kind of force them in. And any of them that grabbed onto my suit, they hung on for dear life, and I had to, I had to physically pull them off my suit and put them in the end of the vac. Thankfully, a bumblebee hive doesn't have the numbers that a honeybee hive does. So, uh, this whole removal took about a half an hour. I'm sweating like crazy, uh, wearing the suit. Got the job done though, I'm headed home and I'm there in this little birdhouse. I'm gonna find a place to hang it. I don't know where, but I'll find a place to hang it. Well, I have to say that was pretty enjoyable, even though I got stung up quite a bit. Got stung on top of the ear. <laughs> got stung all in my fingers. And <laughs> they were finding the voids or the, uh, they were finding ways out of that screen faster than I could cinch it up. And they pretty well ate my lunch uh, in hindsight. It would have been a better idea to slide that garbage bag up around the hive and cinch it up while it was hanging from the soffit right there. That would have taken care of the problem muy pronto and uh, I wouldn't have got stung up like I did. I still would have took some stings because they hit me twice just walking around there to look at them. So still would have got a couple but not anything like what I got. So I, I have to say that honeybee stings are not nearly as intense and honeybee venom is not as impo as potent on me anyway. Uh, the bumblebee venom has not been bad, but it's just uh, a little longer lasting and my fingers are stiff where they probably wouldn't be with honeybee stings. So I highly recommend going out and picking some up of your own. It was kind of like a swarm catch, aside from the fact that swarms don't usually tear me up like that. <laughs> But I got bumblebees, and I'm gonna hang them up somewhere. I'm, I was gonna hang them up at my house, but now that I see how kind of aggressive they are, I don't want them hitting my wife, because then I'd, I'd have some serious problems. So I'm gonna have to find somewhere to hang them that they won't get her or my dad, because I don't think he could take it. I got my pets have been in my truck all night, and the ones in the vac. Goal this morning is don't get stung. <laughs> I 
I got some some uh, jogging pants on over some gym shorts, which is probably not a good level of protection, but that's what I got. And this and my gloves. Take the motor home so I can charge it back up. And these really sound pissed off. I don't think they can get out of this back nozzle. Well, the jogging pants worked. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, but they were really trying to sting me and they didn't get through. Before you say anything, Mr. Ed, yeah, I got jogging pants, cause some of us have dreams. See how puffy that hand is. I can hardly make a fist. And then when I do, my knuckles disappear. <laughs> it just looks like a nub. Just for comparison's sake, this hand is not quite as swollen, although my ring fingers, I can't get my ring off right now. And then on my legs, I got hit um, four or five times on each leg around the sides and on the back of my calves. And all it did was leave these, didn't, didn't do any swelling. And also in the back of the neck, the center of my back, my shoulder. So, wasn't too bad. <laughs> kind of like getting mugged in Detroit. Could have been a lot worse. Thankful to be alive. In the end, here's the price I paid for my little pets. These are all stings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is right here. That's a yellow jacket. Uh, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and there was one right in the in the cuticle line there. It's fourteen. In my right hand on
seemed like he would have had a bigger net, you know? 